hi everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new today you can see we're in my bathroom um today's video is going to be a bathroom deep clean declutter and organize i went to the target dollar spot today i went within the first hour or two my store is open that's when you need to go it was completely fully stocked i was like so shocked i'm not used to seeing it like that and I was actually able to find a lot more of the acrylic um, organization that they've recently been putting into there. So if you've been going to your Target dollar spot and you're really disappointed with it, go within the first hour or two that they're open and I don't think you'll be as disappointed as I usually am. So um, as well as the bathroom deep clean, declutter and organize with me, we're gonna be doing a mini Target um, dollar spot haul. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That helps me out my channel out the most and it helps like my videos go out to other people and leave a comment down below. I really just love chatting with you guys. And as always, if you're not subscribed, please consider it. I would really love to have you part of my internet friends and family. And let's just get into today's video. Start the video off with um, the Target dollar spot haul. So we'll just start with that. So, first I got these little makeup drawer organizers. Why is this pulling out right now? Oh, because <laughs> there's tape. <laughs> but you pull these out, and I got two of them. And they can stack, and I'm going to put those right there. But I'm really excited to use that for makeup and my makeup brushes. Um, and then I found this brush washer. Um, this one was, th this is three and those two are $5 each. And my last video, I believe, I mentioned that I got one of the $5 makeup, like kind of stand acrylic organizers from the dollar spot. And I use that to organize my son's snacks. So that helps a lot. But I've been looking for one of these for a while. Not really actively looking, but they're usually like 10 bucks. So I'm excited I have that. And then, I got <clears throat> this um, dust pan and this was $3. This is for my son. You guys know I'm really into the Montessori, so this is for practical life. And this is the brush that comes with it. So we just have, I have that for him, for him to learn how to sweep up and stuff. But I got this last time I was there and it was three bucks, but they were sold out of these. And when I went today, a ton of these were out in these, so I think that's really great. And even if you're not doing like for your kid, this is perfect for like your patio outside. It's really, I like it a lot. So that is everything I got from the Target dollar spot. I spent three, six, sixteen dollars at the Target spot and got four things. So I think that's an amazing deal. Um, let me know down below your favorite things to get from the Target dollar spot. Their flashcards are amazing. Just throwing that out there. If you haven't picked any up, definitely do it. They're only a dollar. But now that we're done with this haul, we need to get into cleaning and organizing this bathroom and getting it all under control. So let's get into that. All right, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a before shot of the state that the bathroom is in. As you can see, the tub was gross and then show you guys what kind of organization I needed to do under the cabinets and in the drawers. It doesn't look as bad because we don't have a ton of stuff. Um, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know my motto is kind of just like the less the have you, you have, it, the better. It's easier to organize, to stay organized, and you don't feel overwhelmed. But it'll feel like a lot more stuff when I pull everything out from the cabinets and put it on top of the countertop. And I'll be doing that after I get this all cleaned up. And I really hope you guys enjoy today's video and get if you do make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I had the most fun ever making this video than I have any other video I've ever made. I put in my headphones. I was listening to music. Grayson was napping. So it was just such a fun time making today's video and I hope you can feel it and I hope you guys really enjoy it.
Now that I'm finishing off with my skincare tray, I'm gonna move over to my husband's um, models. My cat, Bella, broke them. She threw them off our dresser. I was able to fix like two of them, but one of them's like pretty far gone. And so I put them on my husband's um, side of his closet. He doesn't want to throw the broken one away, but he doesn't want to fix it either. Oh my goodness. He is like, my husband has such potential hoarder um, like things if we weren't together. He's like wants to save everything. But if you're like an, a younger millennial, you have that kind of like from the 90s and early 2000s where you still had to save a bunch of papers and stuff but man he just is like he can everything sentimental to him let me know if you're like that down below or if you know someone who's like that for me only some things are, um material possessions are sentimental I'll, I'll just like let let it go i'm just like throw it away get out of my way gone i hate clutter uh, it just stresses me out so bad. Every job I've worked at, I've always been known as like the really clean person at work. I just, if we don't need it, I toss it. I'm always cleaning. I am like that at every single job I have ever had. I'm always known as the cleaning person and the organizing. If they're like trying to fix a backstock, I would always be called. So yeah, that's, it's who I am. Even outside of being a homemaker, I bring it to every job I do. Um, speaking of that, I am actually... All right, now that all of the kitchen countertop, not kitchen countertop, the bathroom countertop has been cleaned and I did my makeup organization, I'm gonna move on to the cabinets. And as you can see, like I mentioned earlier, it's a lot more stuff when you pull it out and all on top, but I wanted to put it all on top, get the bins reorganized, and then I wanted to really think about what would make more sense of where the placement is on stuff. And right now I was just trying to check and see if those lipsticks were, um, expired and they were um by many years so i tossed those uh r.i.p to my kylie lip Je kylie jenner lip kits i really loved those when i was younger um but i don't really wear lipstick anymore so i guess it's not that big a deal but that was like a hundred dollars worth of lipsticks i didn't finish so that's a little devastating but like i said i bought those like four years ago so it was time to part ways but now i'm like just like kind of making themed bins i had like um that was like for feet pedicure stuff and this one's going to be a feminine hygiene i have one that is for like my hair care products and stuff like that so that is just what i am doing at the moment Speaking of going back to work, I am in the process of looking for a job right now. So put those vibes out there, pray, manifest whatever you believe in that hopefully I'll get a job. Um, it's only I only want to work for like six months to a year until nursing school um, 
until I can get into nursing school. Um, but I really kind of want to make a video talking about the untold truths of being a stay at home mom and why I want to go back to work for a little while. If that would be a video you're interested in, please leave a comment down below. I think it would be really interesting to make. Um, but yeah, if that's something you're interested in, let me know down below and I would love to make that video. I keep sneaking out at night to laugh with you in secret under city lights. Surprised in All right, and here is the after. I am so happy with it, so satisfied, so relieved. I know it'll stay like that and it'll stay functional just like when I did my last bathroom makeover video and I'll link that one um, down below. I did a bathroom deep clean and declutter and organize and I'll link that down below as well. And I kind of did the same system with this one and that did not come down at all, not come down, but get messed up at all. And hopefully this will be the same. And now I'm moving on to cleaning my shower and spraying it down and I always spray it down and then just let it soak for a while and I'll move on to cleaning like the toilet or something like that and that is what I am going to be doing at the moment the only reason I keep sneaking out at night keep wishing you would kiss me under city lights I know you feel it every time I look at you And you may have noticed I only have my shower curtain liner in our master bathroom. And that's because like we're kind of, you know, we just moved in like a month ago, not even. And we're just finishing some stuff up. And our master bathroom, we just need to get a curtain, a rug, and then like some hand towels and it's done. So it won't take long. It'll take less than $100 to do it. But my main priority right now is actually getting my son's bathroom set up and getting our drink station set up in the living room. So the bathroom's kind of fallen on the back burner for me right now, but that will get done in that video. I will film it for you guys and it'll be up in a couple months. Um, but I do, I'll link down my other bathroom makeover I did before. And then I think I mentioned also, I'll link my previous bathroom deep clean declutter and organize for you guys if you need more bathroom inspiration and motivation oh baby yeah there was a part of me that knew that and still i got by surprise i thought you'd always be as you can see, I had one little bit of decluttering left to do and organizing. So the original junk drawer that was in the kitchen is now in our bathroom because we have more drawer space in our bathroom. And it was really just like kind of batteries and command hooks. So it was really easy to organize. So I just used one of my spare small bins and just organized that really quickly. And now that drawer is great and we don't won't overbuy batteries and lose them and all that good stuff. And now I am moving on to scrubbing the tub after I let it sit. And I'm using the cleaner that I made myself in one of my videos. I am, I'll link that one down below as well for you guys. But it works really well and it smells really good. And now I'm just scrubbing the bathroom, um, not the bathroom, the tub. And just taking care of that as it's the last like huge cleaning project in here before I sweep, not sweep, vacuum and mop and call it a day. All right, now that the tub is done, it is time to vacuum and mop in here and wrap it up. Um, I'll also be spraying a little bit of disinfectant spray I made myself. That is also in my homemade cleaning products video that I'll have linked down below. And I'm just gonna spray that on the shower nozzle and then the toilet flush thing because those get kind of gross um so i'm gonna be doing that and i just want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and if you're not subscribed please consider it i would really love to have you part of my internet friends and family and i'll see you guys in a brand new video in a few days bye down, down.